Um, don't forget, if there is people, there, is there any free seat over there? Yeah, there are some seats available there, just if you want. What we are going to, uh, with our next um, speaker, Kimberly Bater. She's a senior technical account manager at WP Engine. She enjoys hiking, weightlifting, reading, and swimming, and occasionally doubles in brewing mat, mat, meat. Growing uh, hypodronic veggies and historical fencing. I don't know how many incredible hobbies. She's going to talk about the taste of tables, uh, converting legacy CMS to WordPress, a really interesting topic. Welcome to the stage. Applause for her, please. Hello, everyone, and thank you to Moncho for the wonderful introduction. My name is Kimberly Pater, and today I am going to tell you a tale. A tale of tables. Uh, these uh, types of tables, not uh, these types of tables. Um, however, if you are looking for the International Conference on Woodworking and Cabinetry, that's just down the hallway to the left, just uh, follow the trail of sawdust. <laughs> Along the way today, there will be challenges, side quests, and monsters but we will pick up new tools and lessons to carry us forward and on to our next adventure. Before we begin, let's close our eyes and take a deep breath. Now it's time for our story. Once upon a time, there was a database wizard who lived in a cozy two-bedroom apartment with her two cats. One day, a website owner came to her door. They carried with them the story of a content management system that had been custom built for them many, many moons ago. Unfortunately, over the years, the CMS had become unmanageable, and there was no one around on their team who could maintain the old code. They knew that they needed to update, both for performance and security. But you see, there was no existing tool to easily export their data out of their old CMS and into a more modern format. They were worried that this content management monster would trap all of their data and that they would have to rebuild their website from scratch. But luckily, the database wizard had a plan. For this wizard was well studied in both WordPress and MySQL. She knew her way around a database, and she was confident that she could put together the required equipment and plan in order to convert and structure the custom CMS data into WordPress tables. It was just going to take a little bit of planning. With the quest formally accepted, she sat down with her new client and started planning out their journey. Some of the broad questions she pondered were, what is the best way to extract the data? What limitations do we have? What will the final data structure look like? And what tools do we have at our disposal? But all of these questions were intertwined. Since the wizard had to not only get the data out of the old CMS, but also get the data back into WordPress, she knew that she would have to build queries and spells with MySQL in a way that would suit WordPress's post table structure. However, she also had to account for e-commerce data that needed to be pulled together and converted to WooCommerce, and also for the fact that the data structure for the final site was going to include custom post types, taxonomies, and fields. You see, there was no one-to-one -one relationship between the old and new tables. So the queries had to be built out with table joins and other cantrips. There were also going to be some intermediary steps where both the wizard and her clients were going to have to work together in order to standardize and clean up old tables and data that were over a decade old. All of these uh, requirements informed her choices of the tools and equipment 
that she prepared for the journey. In her bag of equipment and tools, she packed the following items. For the initial data extraction, the wizard chose a tool called DataGrip. This program allowed her to connect to the old CMS and build MySQL queries to pull out whatever data she needed. It also had incredibly useful data visualization tools so that she could quickly familiarize herself with the old CMS um, tables and data structure and learn all of the relationships between the tables and the old database. Because there was also a lot of data cleanup and manipulation that needed to be done before the data could be re-imported into WordPress, the wizard also chose some less conventional tools. She opted to use both Excel and Google Spreadsheets. While Excel was used to leverage its newer Power Query functionality alongside more traditional macros, Google Spreadsheets was used to collaborate with her client's team so that they could easily verify and approve content before re-import. To build the custom post types, fields, and taxonomies for their new WordPress website, Advanced Custom Fields and Custom Post Type UE was used, uh, plugins were utilized. And finally, to make the process manageable and repeatable by all team members, including the less technical ones, WP All Import and Export was used to import the cleanup data via those aforementioned spreadsheets. Of course, <laughs> Even the best laid plans run into difficulties. For even though the wizard had tried to plan out the whole adventure, accounting for budget and the scope of the original quest, there were many hurdles and side quests along the way. The original data ended up needing a lot more tidying than anticipated, and some of it could simply not be handled in bulk. And that wasn't possible across the whole data set. Additionally, her client kept finding more and more side quests and small monsters that needed defeating. There were issues re-importing blog comments due to some conflicts between post types. And there ended up needing to be more complex custom field and taxonomy structures than they had originally planned for. So could this old CMS be defeated? Well, the wizard and her client battled onward. They made development environments, did test imports, and built some boundaries around what could be handled in bulk versus what simply needed to be a manual cleanup process. And with testing, tweaks, reviews, and more testing, victory? In the end, there wasn't a big battle. The process involved chipping away bit by bit, and both the wizard and her client needed to stay aware of how the mission of the quest needed to shift and change over time. So what did the wizard learn? And what did she choose to prioritize when making decisions about the data set and the new website structure? Well, first of all, she focused on future proofing. She built out the new custom post types, fields, and taxonomies in as light a way, a way as possible so that it still allowed her client to manage them on their own, even without her ongoing presence. She had to sacrifice some of her ideals around not using heavier page builders for the front end of the new WordPress website. But as this choice was the best for her client's non-technical team, and because the data and the post structure was sound and allowed it to potentially go headless in the future, in this concession, she struck a balance between practicality and best practice. In the end, the wizard completed her quest. All of the required data was removed from the old CMS and successfully imported into WordPress. If she were to do it again, she would maybe change one or two things. For instance, ACF can now do custom post types and taxonomies, which eliminates a whole plugin from the final stack. And she would encourage anyone else who's 
taking on a similar project to also keep their minds open to less developer-centric tools, such as Excel and spreadsheets, as these tools allowed for better collaboration with everyone involved in the quest. And with that, our story is complete. Thank you all for listening to Tales of Tables, and good luck on your own adventures. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. We have a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift for you for the organization. Thank you for your talk. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you for all of your volunteer work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Big applause for her. <laughs> Time for a little break. So, yes, go for coffee, visit the sponsors, and enjoy the event. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>